Hey guys, Mike Chang here in Orlando, Florida. For breakfast, I am inside the Desolent Amusement Park for a bowl of cereal. Well, an endless bowl of cereal. So this is the world's first all-you-can-eat cereal buffet. This is so exciting. If you are a fan of cereal, this place is incredible. Every single cereal I have ever known is here, plus a ton I've never seen before, like an IHOP pancake cereal, Nutter Buddy cereal, Tres Leches Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Kit Kat. There's also an Icy cereal. I have not had cereal like this for a long, long time. And the best thing about this place, all you can eat as much cereal, as much milk as you want, you get two free toppings and it's only five dollars. Unbelievable. So to start off, I got a bowl of Crave. Never had a Crave before, but it's always something I wanted to try. And my favorite cereal of all time, Julian just thinking about it, Golden Grams. This place is so nostalgia inducing. Everything from Rice Krispies to Kicks to Honey Nut Cherios, Frosted Flakes. It's like eating inside an expanded cereal aisle at the grocery store. This might be one of the most magical places on earth, right next to the other most magical place on earth. Mm. And I got it from the purple box, which means chocolate on the outside and chocolate on the inside. Mm. I like it. And the best thing, the cereal milk. That just tastes like pure nostalgia and fun and a ton of sugar. The special edition cereals they have, they'll sell little cups of these for $1 each. Look at this. Kit Kat cereal. This one just kind of tastes like chocolatey, crunchy cereal. If I didn't know what this was, I'd never guess the flavor of Kit Kat, but. Tastes good. This is really exciting. An icy cereal. This tastes like an icy. Mmm. You definitely taste the icing in that cereal. Little Debbie's Nutter Buddy. This tastes like Nutter Butter. Oh, that is so good. That's definitely the best out of the bunch so far. Hang on, gotta reload on milk. This is an exciting one. Tres Leche Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Whoa. That is a mind-blowing cereal. All the great taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but with that amazing Tres Leches flavor. I might need another shot of that. That might be the best cereal I've ever tasted. I wish they actually came out with that. Golden Grams has always been my favorite cereal. I like to soak them in the milk a little bit, just so they soak in a bit of that milk. It's like eating pure happiness. It's almost like you can just turn around and see the Ninja Turtles playing on TV. I love cereals and I love buffets. I never ever thought I'd see them together. Like I said, this is a magical place. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. There's Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis and there's also Cinnamon Toast Crunch Rolls. Gotta get some minis. It's basically all that great taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and little puffy balls. And the best part about Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's a cinnamony milk. What's also awesome about this place, you can mix and match your cereal. So I got some Fruity Pebbles, and since this is near Disney, some Mickey Mouse Cake Confetti Cereal. Mm. Oh, I miss Fruity Pebbles so much. Mm. I think the Mickey cereal, that one's just okay. I did just realize they don't have any of the cereals with nuts inside, I think for allergy purposes. Otherwise, Raisin Nut Brand, oh, I miss having that. Mm. Honey Bunches of Oats. It's been a few decades. I don't think I've ever had so much cereal in my life and felt so good afterwards. And cereal is actually the first Western food I've ever had in my life. My first day in school in Knoxville, Tennessee, went to breakfast, a box of Cheerios and cold milk. Took a bite, hated it. <laughs>
mainly because we didn't drink a lot of cold milk back in China. But a few Saturday morning cartoon marathons later, all I tasted was happiness. To this day, that was well worth the five bucks. By the way, there's a car museum here with $22 billion worth of cars. There's cars from all the iconic movies and TV shows. And there's an 100 foot car with a helipad on there and a putting green. That'd be a little difficult. First savory meal of the day. I always wanted to come here. Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips restaurant. I think he just opened one of these in New York. So I got a uh, Gordon's combo, which is a fried shrimp, fried chicken, and fish. And you can add on any other protein. So I added a lobster. This is it, my Gordon's combo with an added lobster tail. So far, it smells so good. You can also change around the fries or chips. And I chose the truffle parmesan cheese option. Here is the lobster tail. This thing is fried very well. So is the fried shrimp. Very solid batter on the outside. Break open the outside batter inside. Beautiful lobster tail. I got two different different sauces, mango curry and Gordon's tartar sauce. Let's try this tartar sauce first. That was a glorious crunch. Outside batter is delicious. Perfectly fried, wonderfully crunchy. The meat is basically all here. This part is just a lobster tail in the shell. This is fried really nicely. You got all these little legs right here that you can break off and eat. You can probably even just break off the lobster shell itself. And crunch it in your mouth. Even that is pretty darn good. I especially recommend the little legs right here. The flavor is delicious. Inside you got the succulent, sweet, tender lobster. This is wonderful. This is the shrimp. I'm gonna dip this in a mango curry sauce. It's really, really good. Again, when you bite down, you're gonna get that wonderful, earth-shattering crunch inside, tender, giant, juicy, sweet prawn. The mango curry sauce, it's thick, it's rich. And you definitely taste all that great herbs and spices from the curry and that hint of sweetness from the mango. You just pop that whole thing in there with the tail. That is really good fish and chips. This piece is the fish. The bottom was on top of the fry, so it's a little soggy, but look at that glistening, flaky, white piece of filet inside that beautiful golden shell. Dunk that into the tartar sauce. Mm. That tartar sauce is pretty good as well. It's creamy with a bit of zest. The fish is flaky, it's mild, it's juicy. Finally, a piece of chicken. Dunk that into the curry sauce. Mm. Even the chicken. This thing is tender, it's flavorful. But really, it's all about that amazing crunchy shell. Crunchy, it's light, it's airy. Gotta give it up for Gordon Ramsay. This is a delicious box of fish and chips. Oh, I haven't tried the chips yet. Fries covered in Parmesan cheese, parsley, and truffle sauce. It's delicious, huge truffle flavor. This thing is cheesy, it's fragrant. Well, at least the ones that weren't sitting directly underneath the seafood and the chicken. So crunchy and good. If you want, you could also add some malt vinegar. Mm. <laughs> I am really impressed. Every single thing in this box, including the sauce, absolutely amazing. I think the last couple times I was in a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, I really wasn't into his burger. Fish and chips though? Hats off to the chef. I'd happily come back here and eat this again. Also, they've got shakes. They were nice enough to give me a couple to try. This is the Biscoff shake. Such a smooth shake. Also, that delicious cookie butter flavor. It's just so present. This is amazing. And then strawberries and cream. Mm. Creamy, delicious strawberry flavor. This is really good. The other one's my favorite though. Even though this place is located inside an amusement park, it's definitely not a tourist trap. A great place to come and grab some food.
since I am in the international drive area, stopping by the Mega McDonald's once again. This is the biggest McDonald's in the world. Last time I did a whole pizza, they served pasta, and now they just added something new, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich on a toasted roll, mayonnaise, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and chopped up steak. That actually looks pretty darn good. A lot of beef in here, some red peppers, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, mayonnaise. Again, a toasty bun. If you were getting this in Philadelphia, it's obviously not gonna be as good as the local cheesesteak, but this coming from a fast food restaurant that is McDonald's, it's a pretty solid cheesesteak for a fast food chain. The beef is actually pretty tender and juicy. But the steak is a little clumpy, a little smokiness from the pepper. I wish there were more cheese because it is a cheesesteak. Now it's more just like a steak. But the bites I took with the cheese, it's meaty. It's not a bad tasting sandwich. I did bring something to kind of spice it up a bit. My hot oil. If you want to get a bottle or a set, I'll put the link down below for you. Oh, that's nice. A little heat on there makes this exponentially better. It goes really well with this. I think overall, pretty solid fast food sandwich. Also want to try the new quarter pounder patties. This is a new burger. It's a jalapeno quarter pounder. Basically just a quarter pounder with jalapenos on it. I haven't had a quarter pounder in a while, but the patty is pretty tender and juicy. I like the jalapenos and the gooey cheese. This thing is sweeter than I remember. I don't know whether that's the buns or the ingredients between the buns. It's really gooey and good. It's jalapeno cheddar. That's really good cheese. But yeah, way sweeter than I remember. Speaking of sweets, there's a bakery at this McDonald's. They're offering a couple types of cake. I got a peanut butter cake and a chocolate corruption cake. And they gave me a chocolate corruption cake and a cheesecake. Oh my gosh, this is a decadent, trippy, gooey piece of cake. Mm. That is a very rich, very chocolatey, extremely satisfying bite of cake. Mm. Gooey chocolate, little pieces of crunchy shell on the side. This thing is so moist. Wow, that's a delicious piece of cake. Never think this is from McDonald's. Now that it brought me this cheesecake, this thing's looking pretty good. It tastes pretty good as well. McDonald's Bakery cranks out some delicious cake. That's some legitimate creamy cheesecake. If you're around Orlando, you wanna go grab some dessert, go to McDonald's. Wow. Dinner is gonna be here. Camilla's is an iconic, traditional Brazilian buffet here in Orlando. And I always wanna try this place. Round one, I got some rice and feijoada, which is a stew with black beans and pork, and just poking around this pork. This thing's a tender plus. They have different parts of the pork here. I see some lean meat, tons of fat. I see a trotter. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Everything is melting in your mouth. The lean meats, the fat, especially that trotter, leaving that nice gelatinous feeling on your lips. The beans are sensationally scrumptious and silky. The overall flavor is incredible. Also, I got some dried meat risotto. Mm. I don't think I've ever had that before. Mm. That's a creamy and meaty dish. Stroganoff. Mm. Gravy is very rich. Some mushrooms in there. Very nice and deep flavor profile. That is such a rustic dish. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is good. I don't know how the steaks work out. I was hoping there was picanha on the menu tonight. There's not, it's tri-tip. Mm. That's a little tough. I mean, it's seasoned very nicely. We do taste the smoke from the fire. But that is a tough piece of steak.
I just asked, you can actually order a plate of fresh picanha top sirloin. They grill it, so it's cooked to order, and it's brought to the table on a sizzling plate. This is $22. The buffet is 18 bucks, which I think is a really good deal for the quality of food you're getting. This is at least over two pounds of steak, at least four ginormous pieces. And look at this, cooked perfectly. Inside is juicy. You can see the juice flowing on the inside of the steak. Mm. I like the pieces attached to the fat. Mm. Yeah, the parts with the fat, with the fat literally dissolves on your tongue. That's my favorite. I mean, come here with a bunch of people, everyone gets a buffet, order a platter of steak to share. That's a good meal. Totally forgot about the plate of food I got from the buffet. They also have some chicken frixie, I think it's called. Mm. Tender chicken and creamy sauce, a nice toasted cheese on top. That's delicious as well. This is really interesting. I think the shrimp in some sort of spicy, cheesy sauce. Mm. A bit of kick to this as well. And I was just talking to the staff. Apparently 80% of people that come to this restaurant are Brazilian because what they serve is very authentic, very traditional Brazilian food. I just got a piece of sausage from the feijoada. Oh, that's so good. I think that might be my favorite dish here. Mm. There's flan, there's chocolate mousse. Mmm, there's really, really good flan. Mmm, really nice caramel flavor. It's eggy, it's custardy, but it's delicious. I love the chocolate mousse here. Smells like eating chocolatey silk. I mean, this is definitely made with some nice dark chocolate. Super smooth and velvety. If you're in Orlando, you want to get an all-you-can-eat taste of Brazil, definitely check this place out. I think Orlando is such a fun food place. I mean, you got Disney right there, so you know there are going to be some fun restaurants. And today was definitely a fun food day. As always, I'll place that one to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.